Hey there guys, it's Kim George here from YourChicGeek.com and I want to welcome you to a brand new spanking and quick video. Um, this video is going to be in regards to some news that was just published, I think on yesterday. I um, want to give a shout out to Corvin Van Stone, honestly, from Self Publishing Titans who uh, brought this to my attention and I wanted to bring this to you guys' attention to let you know that KDP has really um, is really stepping up their game with trying to crack down on scammers and um, people that are doing, um, you know, just doing some scamming and, and, and all of that kinds of stuff with uh, stepping up, putting in place different uh, things to thwart people or to prevent people from trying to basically scam them. And so one of the things that they've introduced and rolled out um, on yesterday is the identity verification um, steps and methods that some people are going to have to do. So what I'm going to do here is read really quickly, um, you know, what this entails. And I'm also going to leave a link for you guys to head over to check this out and read this for yourselves when you have time. But I think this is a step in the right direction because there's a lot of unscrupulous behavior that is still taking place. And so um, I just wanted to bring this to your attention and to let you know to be on the watch out or be on the lookout for this in case you see this come up. So verify your identity. It says protecting authors, publishers, and readers is a top priority for Kindle Direct Publishing. To better protect those who publish with us and buy books on Amazon, we may ask you to verify your identity. This is to ensure an account is genuine when using our services. So it says if requested, identity verification requires you to submit a government issue ID a government issued ID rather, such as a passport or driver's license. So how do you verify your ID? It says to verify your ID. These are the steps that you would follow. Basically, you log into your account, go to your identity, and then you're going to enter in the information that they request. Um, it says the name on your account should match your ID, save your information, and then click verify identity. All right. So then um, there's some other steps that are here and it says that it only takes a few minutes. Um, this is something I've had to do for a couple of other things, not KDP, but um, I've had to do this um, for a couple of other programs and systems that I've used. And I do think this is a great step in the right direction. So some other things to watch out for, it says, um, is my identity or my information safe if um, after I verify and if I verify my identity. And I think this is a great question because of all of the data breaches. To be honest with you guys, I just got a letter the other day <laughs> from a data breach that happened with Ticketmaster, I think. So that those of you who have Ticketmaster accounts, you may want to go check into this. And I'm like, geez, this stuff just keeps happening. So anyways, um, is my information safe if I verify my identity? And it says, we design all of our systems with your privacy in mind. We invested heavily in ensuring the security of your personal information across KDP and um, Amazon. All information you provide is handled in accordance with our privacy notice. And then it says, what happens if I don't complete or fail identi identity verification? And it says, if requested, identity verification is required to use KDP. So guys, this is a thing. If you have a KDP account, Please make sure that you're, <clears throat> excuse me, making sure that you are on the watch and looking out in your email from an email from KDP, anybody from their team asking for identity verification. Okay. But it says that if you fail to complete this process within the time allotted or do not successfully verify your identity, we may take account on your, take action, I'm sorry, on your account, such as closing your account and so forth. So that's something that you don't want to have to have happen. It says if you receive an error during the verification process, you can troubleshoot solutions using this article. So there's a link there. Then which IDs do you accept? It says depending on the country, we accept most government issued IDs such as passports, residency permits, residency permits, driver or driver's licenses. And then they have they have an article and a link to that on some other accepted uh, IDs by location. And so basically again they're just rolling this out and i know there's been probably an uptick in and different things that are happening um you know all kinds of stuff so there are people that are basically trying to circumvent kdp and i've heard this happen with people in different groups saying that you know they've gotten terminated and so they they're using somebody somebody else's account or using something else or vpn it's just all kinds of weird stuff so i think this is just um another step for them to make sure that people are keeping in compliance with their platform and so on and so forth so again i'm gonna leave the link below you guys can head over to check this out 
out. And um, just as long as you're following the guidelines and things like that, and again, be on the lookout for your email, your spam folders and things like that from emails from KDP, just in case you are asked to verify your identity because you don't want your account to be um, compromised um, if they do ask you to verify things and you don't receive the emails or you, you know, you just didn't see it because it can happen. So again, I just wanted to bring this to your attention. Um, leave a comment below. Let me guys, let me know what you guys think about this. Do you think this is a good thing? You think this is going too far? I personally think this is a great thing. So um, anyways, just wanted to share this information with you guys. You guys take care and I will see you guys on next week with a new video because your girl is trying to get ready for Q4. Yeah. All right, guys. See you guys later. Bye.